So, welcome back to another Fall Guys game analysis video, and hopefully you guys learned something in this video to get more crowns in game, and uh, let's get into it. So, finally we get another map. I've already gone this one before, but there's some more tips I haven't shown before in this one. But at least it's not the world gig. <laughs> So, at the start here, you want to look at the direction of the spinning plate, and then you want to, if it's spinning left, or closest to the left side, then you want to go to the left side, and if it's spinning, uh, if the arrows are going upwards on the right side, then you want to take the right side uh, spinning plates. So, uh, there's a never there's a faster uh, way to get through these plates, which not many people do. A lot of people jump between the plates, but I do not. It's faster to just go between them walking. I think see I'm in first place right now. I think going down a sloping jump to get a speed boost, by the way. And that's a pretty good example of how it's faster to dodge. Because the first time I talked about that it wasn't very convincing since I had no gameplay actually showing that. But yeah, it's very fast to take that side since it's going, uh, arrows are going upwards on that one. So now you can just jump between these, or you can dive. I'm pretty sure jumping is faster though, because diving takes some time. So while you're coming up here, you can look at the balls flying, uh, or getting side out of the cannon. And depending on where they're getting styled again, you can tell where they're going to roll down the hill. So then you can uh, dodge them easier. So, then we're moving on to the next one, which is roll on. Uh, there aren't too many tips. It's basically just like the same thing as uh, roll out, but you have to continue going forward. It is a pretty cool map though, but it's pretty difficult to first place since there is no really like guaranteed method of it or anything that can really give you a boost in speed to get ahead of uh, everybody. Best thing you can do is just get in first place or not first place in the uh, front row. You can jump if it's uh, if you're at an angle you can jump and you'll get a little bit of a boost but you also get somewhat pushed to that direction so since I'm on the left side, it's kind of pushing me to the left side, but I am kind of getting something of a boost. But not really anything significant. So, yeah, I wouldn't recommend diving in this much either, because this map is constantly moving. So you gotta, like, go as fast as you can. Diving takes time. So I did a step uh, back there. I missed that jump. Uh, if you have to, yeah, you can dive like that, but I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend diving here either, it's kind of like fruit suit, where you kind of gotta keep going. While you're going down, like with the tiles, uh, you can jump uh, down the tiles because they're sloped and you'll get a little bit of a speed boost. But anyway, we're up to where we're at uh, stumping ground now. Uh, I have a pretty good technique. It's probably the best technique that you can use without the spinning play in the center. And if there is one, I recommend just standing in the middle of the spinning plate. But that's just a variation I don't get much. But my tactic, and I see a lot of other people using it, is to just jump on these platforms. A lot of people stay at a single platform and then, um, and then they uh, continue just jumping on the same one, but I recommend moving around, like if there's rhinos near one of your platforms, I recommend uh, going to another one. I recommend just constantly moving around and trying to keep an eye on the rhinos constantly. Like if, uh, I constantly try to move forward, but if a rhino's like right next to where I want, or the next like, uh, jump pad, then I just uh, stay at the one that I'm already at. But, uh, yeah, that's about it's a tactic. But yeah, when there is a spinning plate, I recommend just going in the center of that instead of running around the outside. 
Because you have a higher chance of dying if you're running around the outside. But if you don't know the variation area, it's a spinning plate where that yellow in the center is there. But it's not always there. I don't get that often, so. But it's very useful. Basically, no one dies in that one. So, a new final round I have not gotten before. Uh, roll off. Yeah. Um. Again, there's not too many tactics. This is like extreme rollout. Which, well, that is what it is. But, uh. Yeah, this faster version, or it does get faster. Starts off pretty slow though. But, uh, there are kind of like variations to the whole map. That it can kind of like, sometimes you get tons of walls, or, uh, you get tons of the little pink, uh, punting bag looking things. Uh, what if. Uh, if there is tons of those pink punting bag looking things, I recommend jumping from one platform to another. Uh, I have I end up doing that a little later. But when there's tons of walls, I recommend just switching platforms as often as you can without taking too much of a risk. I don't really recommend jumping either, or diving. I only recommend uh, jumping if you're uh, staying on a spinning beam and then you uh, want to go to another platform when there's a gap in the way. That's the only time I recommend something. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend something from the blue to the yellow or uh, orange ring I guess. Uh, or golden. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend something between them because I was uh, that's, in my experience, is pretty risky, and I wouldn't recommend diving often either, because, uh, that takes up time, and when it gets really fast, it's a waste of time. And you just want to be as fast as possible, so only, like, normally jump if you have to. I get it back there. I would only recommend diving if there's a giant gap, just three people tied at once. I don't know how that happened. Uh, but yeah. Only dive if it's a huge gap when you're jumping between platforms. That's the only time I recommend it. But uh, this person actually, the Golden Witch here, actually dies from uh, diving. So that's a pretty good example. But she's also in a pretty bad uh, situation. Wow. Uh, she does do that, so. But the diving did not help in any way possible. Here it comes, I think. Yep. There it goes. He dived into the slime and that was it. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to like and comment. And uh, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you can use these tips to make it longer in rounds and maybe even get some crowns. And uh, yeah, uh, see you next time.